Aries, welcome to your weekly general reading. This is for the sign of Aries. It's not going to resonate with all of you out there. This is also not sun or Venus sign specific. Any Aries placement that you find relevant. There may be messages that resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen, all linked and listed in the description box. The readings aim for the month of March, but time is elusive. If you are drawn to the reading now, today, tomorrow, that's when you're meant to hear it. We will pull oracles at the end, give you a little more guidance for the week. Otherwise, we are jumping right in, Aries. Messages for Aries, greatest and highest good. What do we have for Aries this week? What do they need to know? Okay, got a whole blob there. Ace of Wands, beautiful energy. Very much your element here. Uh, Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Interesting. Okay. Looks like there might be some competition for the Aries. Very much getting you coming up as this Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, very much there's competition or there will be competition for you. It looks like you're minding your business though, minding the business that pays you. But it looks like out of this bunch, you will be, there's going to be one that you pick. There's going to be one in particular that stands out for you. Whatever this is, whether this is dating, jobs... You know, whether you're a choreographer and you're, you know, everyone just wants you to choreograph their, their, their music video, whatever it is. There's people that are vying for your attention. But it looks like there's going to be one opportunity, person, place, thing in particular that um, is going to stand out to you or you're going to indulge in. We have the Knight of Swords that also came out too. Air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius could be important. Looks like someone wants to say something to you though. They want to say it fast, quick. Looks like they know that there's competition. Speeding towards you. Oh, that's two more cards for Aries, please. King of Cups, yeah. Mm -hmm, I'd say so. One more card for Aries, please. One more card. Okay, all right. That's a bit much. But the Empress card. Yeah, look at that. We'll see what else is going on. So the Empress card. Is your final card out, but look at this. <laughs> queen of Cups. So not only do we have a King of Cups, we have a Queen of Cups. So someone that is absolutely your match, okay? We also have the Two of Cups. So not only is this person your match, but this person feels equally for you and whatever you're going to end up feeling for them. Seven of Pentacles. Looks like someone wants to put in time and energy and invest here. See where things can grow to. Ready to take that leap. Ready to take that, you know? They're not willing to lose. Two fives here. They're not willing to lose. They are very determined. I am seeing that with the Knight of uh, Swords. Seven of Pentacles, I am getting this will be your energy because I do see you as having options and there will be a choice for you to make major arcana the judgment card. All right, bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. Very much your mode right now, very much minding your business, minding the business that pays you, taking care of yourself, your house, your kids, whatever, but not focused on really much that's outside of you, very much self-focused. Very much self-focused, and that's usually when we're the most attractive to people. Is when we're not, you know, we don't care about what the next person's got going on. Because the world is so much so focused on other people. It's kind of weird when you're focused on yourself. You're like an anomaly. Yeah. Ace of Wands and the Knight of Swords here in your past position. Someone's got something to say. It looks like they got the hots for you. There's some sort of passionate new beginning here that's getting ready to happen. Very sexual energy as well. And, you know, um, I do get a sense of rushing here. Like someone wants to rush, but not in the sense like narcissistic style where, you know, the narcissist will want you to rush into a relationship with them. But I think it's because this person knows that you're very high caliber. They know your value. They see it off the bat. You know, they're very, they, they can see that you're, yeah. You know, like when a good product comes out and like, you know, it sells fast. So when you do get it, you buy like four bottles of it so that you don't run out. That's that type of vibe because you can't afford to be without it. And, you know, it's it's everyone's going to want one. Very much how this person's perceiving you here because you're minding your own business. Nine of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Yeah. Masculine energy here. Water sign energy. Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio. This could be you or someone else, but they're very much... Feeling the feels here for you, and you could you might not even be aware. Very much in the feelings. Very much in the feelings towards you here. 
Because you're a catch. The Knight of Pentacles is absolutely a catch. And the Queen of Pentacles, I mean the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, Nine and Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is very much someone that can nurture the shit out of things. Nurture the shit out of things. There's not nothing the Queen of Pentacles cannot cultivate. She's good at everything. Five of Wands and the Empress here. Yeah. So not only are you the Nine of Pentacles, not only are you the Queen of Wands, but you're also the Empress, male or female. Does that matter? This is this is the the tier that you are on, your top tier, aka your top tier. Your top tier. And I think everyone knows that. It's in the way you walk, it's in the way you speak or don't speak, it's in the way you carry yourself, it's in the way you are always minding your own business. Someone sees you as top tier. This could be absolutely an opportunity for you to progress. Some of you might not be single for much longer. Some of you may not be single for much longer. But if there is multiple people that you are choosing from, it will be very clear on who it is you need to choose. That is no doubt. It will be very clear on where it is you need to put your time and energy into. High Priestess, follow your intuition. The letter B and J could be important to you. Your intuition will tell you. It will. There will be no doubt whether it's this King of Cups or not. Because it looks like there might be multiple Kings of Cups. Especially coming in next to this Five of Wands. But I mean... Yeah. You're top tier. And this person's not gonna... They're not gonna waste time. They're not gonna play. Play. No. Go big or go home is the vibe that I'm getting here. What do you have for Aries? Okay. What does it say? Be bold and make the first move. Yeah. Very much go big or go home. Water sign energy, air sign energy. It's like it only makes sense. There's emotions, but it, it, it's it's a logical decision too. It's like I would be stupid not to make an effort or an attempt. Because someone is very aware that you have compet there's people compet competing. Whether you care or whether you are, you know, exuding options or, or looking at them or not, this person is very aware that you are something worth competing for. Not only is it logical, but emotionally, it just, it just, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. What do we have for Aries? Be bold and make the first move. Someone's about to make a move here. Let's go to this one. For Aries. Okay, that's a bit much. Okay, one flip. Wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. Some of you might be, that's why you're self-focused, very much getting over past situations that didn't work out. But that's not the reality of your whole life, right? Yeah, some of you have been through some shit. Ten of Swords. So this is why it's very being very uh, heavy emphasized that if you are not sure, then it's probably not the one. If anybody sort of gives you this, in, has you feeling unsure, then that is not the one. You will know by how certain you feel. There is going to be a clarity and understanding on a spiritual level, a higher knowing, your higher self sort of quietly screaming. It's going to be very clear. There's not going to be much like a uh, fog because this person seems to be very direct, very direct. Okay, let's go back to this one and see if it's got anything. What do we have for Aries? Right into the Aries, please. So I see Pisces, water sign, air sign, heavy on the air, air sign energy. Uh, Libra and Taurus. Could be important. Come on, cards. Get it together. Aries. That's way too many. Way too many. I'll take the first one. You can either worry or believe in yourself. Guess which one feels better. So it could be this person that needs to work up some courage. But this could also be a heads up that you might be tempted to look at this through old lenses. And this is the warning. Don't look at it through old lenses. 
Okay, because I do see there's some remnants of some pain or something that you're healing from here. This is why you're not focused on the competition. You're very much minding your business. But your intuition will tell you, you'll feel a sense of, of not only logic, but a sense of spiritual alignment when it comes to this person in particular. Because I do see that there's one person in particular that um, will intrigue you. But of course, it's your choice. It's your life. You do what you want with it. I'm just the reader. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment. That is your reading. See you guys next week.